Hey. Um, my hair is a little bit funky this morning. I was originally going to do this video as like a 15 minute kind of situation, but I have other videos that I think this will work better in the midst of. So we'll just do it in that. The beginning part of this is just going to be me talking about how yesterday I went to a Fall Out Boy concert and it was super fun. Um, we went to the Houston showing for um, So Much for Tour Dust or Stardust. It was amazing. I can't even like describe all the amazingness. Um, I've only been to one other show beforehand and uh, that one was the Mania Tour in Austin. I think that was in 2018. This is the second time I've ever seen them, and honestly, this time was so much more better. They had, like, this animatronic, like, dog statue thing biting at the stage while they were, like, singing and stuff. I'll show that here. I was literally just like dancing for everything that I could. I've been in kind of this energy of like embracing my inner teen right now because I feel like I've done a lot of healing work to my inner child but I really haven't touched too much on my inner teen until like recently. So I really just like let myself dance and enjoy myself at that show and I felt so much like a teenager again and um... I felt like I really just got to kind of let loose, you know? So that was really fun. Unfortunately, it was like, I want to say it was 103 yesterday, and the concert started at 6.30. Fall Out Boy came on at 9.20, I think, somewhere in there. They started a little bit earlier. Um, but my entire body was just literally sweat the entire time. It was so hot. They were charging so much for water which sucked and then if you brought a water bottle in they wouldn't let you bring the cap for some reason i'm assuming because they didn't want you to do refills or or like for free or something i don't know despite being drenched in sweat at least we had seats that we could sit in so that was really nice because every time i got too exhausted i was able to sit down my brother um, got us both pina coladas, so that was super fun. Um, like, I honestly really truly enjoy any time my brother and I go to concerts because it is just such a bonding moment for the both of us. And um, I love my brother so much. He's been one of my best friends for my entire life growing up, and you know, it was just another moment that was amazing to be with him and hanging out and just like living like um i feel like for the first time in years i've just gotten to truly be myself and what better time to do that than hanging out with my brother so we had so much fun um also we did stop at the merch table my brother got so much more than me, but I didn't have that much money to spend, so I do want to show what I did get, which was... This is going to be too big. I'm going to have to back up. Ah. <laughs> so it's like this big flag or tapestry with the symbol on it for um, this album. I'm so happy with this because nothing makes me feel like a teen more than getting to hang up stuff on my walls and I've never gotten like a band flag or tapestry before so I'm just like so excited to put this somewhere. I don't know where it's gonna go though because all my walls are full with like stuff already. I already have paintings all over the place. I'm thinking maybe the ceiling, you know how people do like the ceiling tapestries? I have another tapestry I want to hang up, so maybe I can put this one on the ceiling as well and then just hope they look good. I don't know. But yeah, so that was the concert. The only struggle at the end was like getting to our parking spot because their parking spots for that um, 
like venue are kind of far away to walk at nighttime. So that was the whole thing. Um, but we made it back safe. And we drove back home, which was like several hours away from Houston. Let me tell you, it was hard to stay awake at some points, but we listened to a bunch of like really old music like Hannah Montana, Selena Gomez, um, Jennifer Lopez, <laughs> like the full thing. We were just having a great time. Madonna, I don't know. It was a lot of fun. So yeah, that's kind of all I have for this segment of it, but I do have another video to show you of another time that I was like having a lot of fun. It's from a couple of weeks ago, I just didn't really know where it would fit in a video, so I'm just gonna put it in this one. It is when I take a trip to, I think it's the San Antonio Museum of Art, I think that's the name of it. Um, I had never been there before. like. It's crazy because I've lived in the area kind of my entire life, but I never really visited a lot of cool spots in San Antonio, so it was really nice to be able to go there for the first time and just kind of see what, you know, the town had to offer, and I don't think I was disappointed. There was a lot of cool stuff there. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll that clip. I hope you enjoy it, and yeah.
July the 5th. It is the day after July 4th, which fireworks, American Eagle, all that kind of mumbo jumbo. Um, we didn't really do anything yesterday. We had like hamburgers. That was pretty much it. And, um, yeah, it's been kind of a busy couple of days. I've been kind of hopping around, hanging out with friends. Um, I've been, uh, as you guys saw, I went to that concert and um, the museum and everything. So I've just been all around, oh, like super busy all the time. And yesterday, um, I just wanted to like also share what I've been working on. I've been working on this for the last couple of weeks or so, so I've been working on my first quilt ever. <laughs> it's hard to see because it's too big to fit in the screen. It's going to be a king size quilt because uh, we have a king size bed. Essentially I've been using like all of my leftover clothing. Um, that I was gonna give away or just fabric that I had extra pieces of like this one <clears throat> and yeah it's been a really nice way to kind of keep like memorable pieces of fabric that I have that like shirts I had grown out of or clothes like pants and stuff that I've grown out of that I really loved um, and now I just get to kind of hold them as a blanket like a little safety thing so I've been working really hard on making this, and I've been enjoying it a lot, actually, um, more than I thought. Um, it's kind of a big project for me because I've only done <clears throat> I've only done smaller stuff like making purses or making pillows and things like that. So I'm really excited for this piece to be done. Um, and I guess when it's finished, I'll show you guys you know, all of it. Maybe I'll just show you my progress along the way. Right now we have five rows and I need 18 total, so I still need 13 more rows of these. It's probably gonna take me months <laughs> to finish this, if I'm honest, but it's been like a really nice project to kind of keep me busy and I'll just be like listening to podcasts or watching YouTube videos while I sew all of it together and I don't know I've just been really enjoying it um so yeah I mean I don't really have too much more to add I haven't really been doing anything super interesting to share but I just kind of wanted to share my last like week or like two weeks with you and just kind of like show you guys what I've been up to I don't know how long this video is gonna be but yeah um Hope you enjoyed me showing you everything, and I'll see you when I see ya. Much love. Bye. Um, so yeah, this morning I was looking on my phone. I have this online journal that I've had since, like, May... Ooh, maybe 2015, 2016. Um, and so I was going back through all of my journaling that I had done through that, and I...